Printful's doing something really cool this sales season. They're revealing multiple products that see a significant spike in demand in November and December when compared to the previous months outside of what we call peak sales season. So they're gonna reveal what these product types are that we should be prioritizing selling at this time of year and they're offering significant discounts on fulfillment. So it's a double whammy. They're gonna assist us in selling the highest demand products and discount fulfillment. What more can we ask for? I'm gonna show you what these products are and how I'll be taking advantage of this in this video. So let's get to it. So first, let me show you the data that Printful decided to share with us about what products saw the biggest jump in demand month over month from October to November in 2023. This is significant. I love that they did this. I hope they do it again next year. So it says why these products are perfect for the sales season. These aren't just random picks. These bestsellers had the biggest growth during last year's sales season. Posters saw a 78% growth October versus November. And if it's big in November, it's going to trickle down to December as well. Blankets saw 130% growth. That is massive. Phone cases saw a 61% growth. This gets overlooked every year, but a lot of people get their new phones in October, November, December. Sweatshirts, 93% growth. And hats, 43% growth. Because of this data that they shared, they are discounting these 12 products for us. So for instance, hoodies, sale price, $20.99 instead of $25.45. Posters, $4.95 fulfillment, that's massive in terms of the discount versus the $8 normal base cost. Uh, standard, or sorry, garment dyed heavyweight t-shirt, $11.49 fulfillment instead of $14.95. Throw blankets, $19.49 fulfillment instead of $24.95, that's significant. Uh, unisex tri-blend shirt, $11.99 instead of $17.75. The eco tote bag, $12.79 instead of $15.25. The iPhone tough case, $11.65 instead of $13.95. That's got a nice little profit margin. You can sell those at $19.99 all day. Uh, the vintage cap is $13.99 instead of $16.50. Now, I've been taking advantage of these, especially because I sell a lot of hats, and this applies retroactively to your existing products. It's not just for new products that you post. So again, this is the time of year where you have the highest expectation of sales. If you're not already a Printful membership, if you don't have one, you should strongly consider opting into that because this is when you're going to benefit most. And I'll talk more about that in just a second. Uh, the all over print men's crew neck shirt, $15.79 instead of $21.95. The unisex crew neck sweatshirt, $13.49 instead of $18.50. That's significant, man, especially this time of year, especially with the demand increase that it saw. What did it say? 93% growth. Retro trucker hat, $10.95 instead of $12.99. And the all over print tote bag, $11.69 instead of $13.95. So there's significant discounts included in this promotion during peak sales season at the best time of year. What do you need to do to take advantage? Well, if you're not already using Printful memberships, right? That means Printful growth or Printful business, which by the way, you can earn both just from your Printful fulfillment. They'll literally give you Printful growth for free if you make enough sales. They'll give you Printful business for free if you make enough sales. That's what I have. That's the highest tier. If you don't currently make enough sales, it is $24.99 a month. And do the math. Let's say you average 20% discounts. Well, what's $24.99 times five? If you're having Printful fulfill at least $125 a month for you, you should strongly consider, right? I can't speak for you, but you should strongly consider opting into Printful growth. You know what I mean? $25 and then you're basically breaking even there and anything more than 125, you'd be profitable. But they also give you a free 14 day free trial. So I'm gonna drop a link to this page in the description. Now let's tr let's uh, pivot over to doing a little bit of research for each of these product types. So the premium hoodie with a you know 20 plus percent discount here, uh, check me on my math, it's around 20%. Let's jump on over to Etsy and I'm simply gonna type in uh, hoodie or maybe hooded sweatshirt, but let's just type in hoodie. Let's keep it as broad as possible. And then because I use Everbee, we can run the product analytics and spy on the best sellers in just a few clicks. All right, if you guys aren't using Everbee, but you're selling on Etsy, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and sort by monthly sales. Now I also have the option 
of clicking right here and expanding my search to the entire Everbee database of over 100 million products. But why don't we just keep it because I had such a, you know, high level generic, you know, search in this case, I just typed in hoodie. I didn't get too specific. We don't need to expand the scope. Let's just look at the products on page one of Etsy search. So right now, custom embroidered hoodies. This is the number one listing 1200 sales a month. Absolutely insane. <laughs> that is got to be a headache too, because they're offering it custom. So I know that they've got their work cut out for them. Next one, custom embroidered uh, initial heart sweatshirt. They're doing 579 sales a month. Next one, custom name uh, sweatshirt with Roman numerals. Okay, not custom name. It's matching personalized sweatshirts with Roman numerals. Got it. They're doing 456 sales a month. Next one, custom embroidered dog hoodie. You guys noticing a trend? The next one, custom embroidered couples hoodie. All right. And if you're selling to couples, you're getting multiple or like multiple quantities ordered in a single order, which is also going to benefit you in the Etsy algorithm. So just saying, it's probably not a coincidence. We see so many of these couple sweatshirts trending towards the top. That's just a few ideas I wanted to share with you. You saw how easily we were able to identify right away the best sellers using Everbee. So check that out. It's linked in the description. Uh, next up posters. I'm going to go to Etsy again. Let's do the same thing. Poster. Why get specific? Let's keep it as broad as possible. Then I go to the product analytics tab. This is because I have the Everbee Chrome extension installed, by the way. It allows me to run the extension uh, and you know look at analytics. There's also a keyword tool. There's also an email tool. There's plenty of stuff. But right now, product analytics, I think, is perfect. I'm going to go ahead. Let's sort by total sales instead. Okay. Uh, the number one poster is custom vinyl lyrics print poster. So again, these people have their work cut out for them. If you're a glutton for punishment and you want to offer custom products on Etsy, well, you see that is how to become a number one bestseller. This poster has done almost 500 sales in the last month. Uh, the next one is black cat, wash your paws, bathroom decoration. All right. And it's not customized. It's just a, <laughs> it says black cat and sink co. So anybody with a black cat that likes to bathe in the sink or hang out in the sink, I guess you get this one. I don't have a cat, so not really, uh, I don't really get it. Oh, this is popular because the price point is so low. It says $4. Maybe that's a, uh, Oh, it's unframed. So it's just a piece of paper rolled up. Got you. 328 sales in the last month. Next one, custom watercolor portrait for your pet. So they'll take your pet photo, watercolor, cartoonize it, add your name. 475 sales in the last month. So how about that for a few poster ideas? That is crazy. Next one, t-shirt. All right, let's just type in t-shirt. This is going to be fun. Let's see what comes up for just t-shirt across all the Etsy you know, it says a hundred or never mind. It says a thousand items with ads, but I, I guarantee you it's a hundred thousand plus uh, t-shirts. I'm going to run product analytics. Let's expand it to the full Everbee database of over a hundred million products and just have some fun with this. And then let's sort by, what do you think? Total sales? Yeah, let's do total sales. There's going to be some crazy listings here. Uh, some of them are like saying SVG, by the way, in Everbee, we can go to filter. And when you click filter, it gives us the ability to exclude. So I'm going to exclude SVG. And then I'm going to rerun this. That way it's going to remove a lot of the digital files because that's not applicable to us if we really want to sell t-shirts and capitalize on the exclusive member offers here in Printful for t-shirts, as you can see. So now we jump back. We should see a lot less of the uh, digital products. This says wholesale. Okay, so it's a wholesale listing, but it's just Gildan shirts. Um, the next one is Disney. <laughs> the next one, my favorite daughter gave me this shirt. That's done 171 sales in the last month. The next one, custom photo shirt. By the way, Etsy does market themselves as like the, the destination, the premier destination for custom gifts. I know that because I don't watch a lot of TV, but I do watch a lot of NFL football and I even saw a few commercials. So <laughs> don't come to me for commercials or anything like that. But that is one thing. If it's during the NFL, I got you. Uh, next one, personalized t-shirt, 145 sales in the last month. Next one, custom t-shirt, 301 sales in the last month, etc. cetera. You guys get, a, you're starting to see the trend here. You're starting to see the pattern. Uh, next, next product throw blanket. This could be fun. So I'm going to go up to the search bar, keep it simple. I'm going to type throw blanket and let it, let's see where it steers us here. And by the way, the reason we do this research is because if our goal is to make sales, it is so much easier to sell things that people are currently buying. I know that's obvious, but think about it rather than thinking that we know best in making something that we like, we could literally just look at the market and say the market prefers you know, the throw blankets with this style of a design or in this niche, this niche is hot right now, right? So that's why we're doing this. 
Um, instead of searching the whole Everbee database, I'm just gonna go to the uh, on-page results since we kept it very broad in our search. I'm gonna sort by monthly sales. Let's see what comes up. Personalized, custom blanket, baby girl blanket, name blanket, etc. Oh my gosh, 2,340 sales in the last month. That is insane, $35,000 in revenue. Uh, next one, personalized photo blanket. So it looks like they're taking up to nine photos and just laying them out in squares. 586 sales in the last month. They have a healthy, healthy price point of $55. Let's jump back over here. The throw blanket on Printful with the discount, $19.49. This throw blanket right here, the number two bestseller, charging $55. So do the math there. Very healthy profit margin and lots of room to run Etsy ads. The next one, personalized name blanket. Okay, that makes sense. 455 sales in the last month. After that, custom name blanket. Uh, after that, custom throw blanket, custom photo blanket. They've got a picture of the dog, uh, another custom photo blanket. So again, the best sellers on Etsy, are a lot of them are custom. If we wanted to, we could filter out the word custom and see what pops up. Um, I invite you to do that. Check out Everbee. Uh, next one is a t-shirt. We already researched that. How about tote bag? Let's go back to Everbee and look up tote bags. So I will type in tote bag. Also, Everbee, or sorry, Etsy alone gives you some ideas. So with zipper is popular. Pattern is popular, mock-up is popular, canvas is popular, just saying, autocomplete, a lot of times there's gems in there. Let's run product analytics on tote bag. We can then sort by maybe total sales here, and let's see, personalized bridesmaids, bags, and charm. Okay, so we know the bridal stuff, the wedding stuff, huge on Etsy. That made 1,700 sales in the last month. Uh, personalized burlap bags, not exactly what we're selling. Next one, here we go, a tote bag. Custom tote bag in the bachelorette niche. So they optimize their SEO around bachelorettes. Because let's be real, guys. At the end of the day, it's a tote bag. You see it right here above me. So what's the difference between that tote bag in a bachelorette niche and that tote bag for grocery shopping? It's literally in the eye of the beholder. Us as the print-on-demand seller, we add the design and then we optimize the SEO in our Etsy listing around that to make it appeal to certain people that are looking for that specific type of product. You see what I'm saying? Even if at the core, it's the same base eco tote bag, we get to decide what niche it's in based on our SEO and the design. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, embroidered tote bags are popular. Uh, personalized monogram. Uh, that's a simple one too. It's embroidered, but maybe you offer one that's not embroidered at a discount. They're, char they're charging $38. Well, with the discount here in Printful, it's $12.79. You could charge significantly less um, and go with the same kind of style, you know what I mean, of the like single letter. You know what I mean? Obviously, it's not gonna be monogram, but you know. Uh, embroidered, another embroidery. So it seems like embroidered tote bag is pretty popular. I wonder, I haven't even looked, but I wonder if Printful offers embroidered um, tote bags. That'd be interesting. Let's see. I wonder if we can check that out real quick. What do you guys think? It should only take a second. If you didn't know in Printful, you can go right here, create product template. And then, oh, they do. They offer the embroidery. Printful is on top of it, guys. And look how easily you can do this. They have a text tool on the left-hand side. You could literally, you just do a big R. <laughs> you know what I mean? just to kind of show you the inspiration, okay? So a big R, you can change your you know, font family, you can change the colors here if I wanted to make it green for some reason, you know, whatever. And what I always like to do in Printful's designer, in the top right corner, they have the ability to click mockups and basically preview how your product is gonna look. You can see they add the embroidered effect right there. So it's kind of just confirmation before you publish that yes, I did everything uh, correctly. You know what I mean? So I was just thinking out loud there, but it's cool that they can handle that. And I mean, embroidery, by the way, it does increase in, in, in basically in every instance I've ever used it, it increases your base cost. So yeah, I just confirmed that when you do embroidery here on the tote bag, it increases it to 1725 up from 1525. So it added, and you can see that in the bottom left corner here, it added $2 for the embroidery. And if you have never sold that design before, there is a digitization fee. If you use the text tool, it'll be lower, but if you upload a custom design, it's a little bit higher, but that's a one-time fee. Also, I just wanted to note, the reason that you're not seeing the discounts applied on this account that I'm recording using is because it's my recording Printful account, not my primary, just in case you're wondering. So you're seeing the 1525 price and not the 1279 that I would have on my primary Printful account. All right, what do you say? We do one more. Let's look up iPhone cases on Etsy, get a little bit more inspiration. I mean, this is very high level research from here, you would usually just drill down. I, although I feel like iPhone cases, I don't know how strong the niches are. I feel like, you know, each case is just exists on its own in its own little like bubble. You know what I mean? Um, 
So if I was just wanting to sell a lot of iPhone cases, I would probably just try to like make one in every single niche that I see here. And I sorted by monthly sales. The first one, custom pet phone case. So the same one that we saw on the poster where you like take the photo, watercolor it, add the name above. Why not do it on a phone case as well? It's basically oriented the same as well, like vertical, right? Next one, handcrafted memor inspired iPhone case. Each case is unique, made with handpicked Sanibel shells, authentic crystals and charms. Damn, $40 price point, 345 sales a month. So those people are killing it. Well done. Truly handmade, it sounds like too. Retro Walkman phone case. Love that. That's sick. They're doing 229 sales in the last month. Pretty handmade flowers design for the phone case. 202 sales in the last month. Personalized custom case. Looks like they'll do like a little icon and a word. 186 sales in the last month. Uh, next one, real, okay, real pressed flowers. So not print on demand, but real pressed flowers. That's cool. Uh, custom embossed phone cases. Uh, Van Gogh inspired with a cat meme on it, <laughs> phone cases, $20 price point. Like I said, we could sell them there all day, 120 sales in the last month. So guys, check out all of the potential here. All right, go take advantage. I will link to that page on Printful that shares all the details right at the top of the description, right underneath there. I'm going to drop a link to Everbee. If you're selling on Etsy, like there's no better time than right now to really double down and get serious about like listing new products every day, occupy, I say occupy as much online real estate as possible, but don't just do the minimum. Like look at what people are buying and then go create quality products with automated fulfillment in those niches, in those lanes. And if you put on Etsy, put on Amazon too. You see what I'm saying? Why not? Put it on eBay too and Walmart. That's what I do. And I can't wait to show you guys my sales on the year. I do a annual sales report. That'll be coming up in January of 2025. Make sure you're subscribed so you catch that. Like this video in YouTube if you found it helpful. And guys, I'll see you soon with another new video.